this is a quick overview of the hand pieces that are used at the University of Minnesota's dental school. One thing you'll notice is a coupler that's connected to the very end of the dental tubing. This coupler should remain on the dental tubing at all times, so do not attempt to remove it. The high-speed hand piece is a very simple connection. You just push down and the high-speed locks into place. One thing that's nice about this setup is obviously it's a quick disconnect, but it also allows for a swivel. Now when it's time to remove the high speed, what you want to do is pull back on this little lever on the coupler. When it pulls back, it allows the handpiece to release. If you just simply pull on the handpiece, it's not going to release from the coupler. So you pull back on the lever and the handpiece comes off. Now when it comes to your low speed setup, we've got a motor, LS22K. One thing that's nice is it's got a forward and reverse option. And you can change it from forward to reverse by simply adjusting the ring at the bottom. But if you're going to go in the forward position, you want to make sure that the notch is lined up with the F so that you can get full power and speed from your motor. Now the various attachments snap on with quick, easy connection. In order to remove them, all you do is pull and the attachment comes off. With the straight nose cone attachment, it's very simple to open and close the chuck by twisting. So you open it to seat the burr, close it to lock into place. Now as far as the other low speed attachment, there's one dedicated to latch burrs and there's one dedicated to friction grip burrs. You want to be certain that you do not remove the heads from these sheaths right here. Everything comes together in a latch version and in a friction grip version. So make sure that the head does not come off from the sheath. 